I hope he stays this way and doesn't get possessed or beaten up or killed or anything. So, like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, it, it gets bad for him. Oh, well, for what we I'm know. I'm tell so, you why, but, <laughs> uh, but it gets, it's not good. Because he loves the kids so much and he's so invested. That... Don't try and trick me. <laughs> uh, he's my bosses such a are here. Guy. Um, listen, um, his. You know, I was saying that um, children are often, um, you know, victims in horror movies, and it, it, basically, innocence is is often the victim. And um, be it a beautiful young girl or a young child, but in this, uh, I feel like the victim in this season, the ver this version of innocence is true love, you know, and uh, Andy's true love for his deceased wife and his true love for his children, and it's um, it's extraordinarily tragic to me, and um, it's a bummer. You know, and I, I uh, although, you know, it's also very beautiful and I love tapping into that, but I'm saying, I was saying it's, it's been a rough couple of weeks, actually. I've just been coming home and been kind of depleting staying in that space for, um, for days upon days. How do you, how do you let it go then? Like, how do you get, um, I just uh, buy Rolexes. <laughs> That'll do it, yeah. <laughs> that helps, yeah. Glass of wine. <laughs> 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 like, no. <laughs> I buy hats like Julia Roberts and Pretty Woman. <laughs> I go hat shopping, swing the hat boxes, feel good about myself. Um, no, I mean, uh, I honestly, I was just saying, I, I have been, the uh, last couple of weeks I've been going home and watching The Office. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Steve Carell's The Office. He makes me so happy. He's just, and I met him very recently, and I, uh, just at the airport, I ran into him. Um, I found out where his flight was, and then I followed him <laughs> in, a, in an unmarked cargo van uh, with duct tape and trash bags. Uh, <laughs> no, but, <laughs> but uh, I, I just, I, I, so I met him, and then I was, I, I think I was smiling for three days, because he makes me so happy. Has this role changed you in any way, or your char this character changed you thinking about things in any way? Um, yeah, too early to say. Um, I don't know how it's changed me, but I have been having an enormous time. I've been learning a lot. Um, it's, it's very fulfilling work. Um, you know, I enjoy the actors, the very strong cast. I love working with them. Um, and you know, they're very supportive. Uh, we really try to help each other with our performances. That's not 100% the case. Um, Cal Penn. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, um, uh, but it's been an, a very supportive cast of the writers. Also, Jeremy and Sean, I think, um, have genuine love for the people that they're writing and um, it's really extraordinary and the material and so um, the passion is there I mean moment to moment it's 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 uh, a very what, what, what am I trying to say it's it's like it's a potent atmosphere did you like season one were you watching it on your own or did you binge no, it before I, you then I it? then I I went back um, yeah, I thought it was really well done, and I mean, it was, they had a rough job too, you know, I, I think we have an easier, um, and we're starting a little ahead of them, where, where they had to start, because they had to, sort of, they had to deal with the movie, and the gift that they gave us is that we no longer have to deal with the movie as such, and that we have become our own thing. Um, and that's so. Uh, I, I was happy to join a cast uh, that didn't have to do that. Uh, what, the, what first attracted you to this role? And uh, where are you like a big horror fan outside of this? I wasn't a big horror fan. I was curious about it, but um, 
they really attracted me with the character. That was it. And then, then I started going, okay, well maybe, I mean, maybe it'd be interesting to 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 see what this genre is about. To really get into it. And um, uh, oh, and 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 on a like, you know, on a macro level, was pretty interested in um, putting an Asian face in American horror um, because it's. Uh, American horror has been um, very white and like almost uh, like they traffic it has trafficked in this uh, uh, like uh, wasp fantasies almost you know it's kind of white picket fences and you know, um, and those, and so what it what it says to me is this is this is America, this is the precious America, and this is it, what's in peril, and I liked messing with that, with uh, my face, you know, <laughs> and um, thought it would be interesting, particularly since um, you know there's all, all this great horror out of Asia, but but American horror remains very monochromatic you know with the the show being as as dark and intense as it is does the cast find time to have fun and unwind on set at all or is uh, it yeah I mean listen I, I, I'm just like I'm unable to remain serious uh, I, because I'm not very professional <laughs> and um, so yeah lots of laughs uh, Ben is <laughs> joker um but there's a, a lot of joking around yeah i think you have to you know you can't i don't know how how to do that i don't know how to in, for an entire shoot i don't know how to do that um you gotta have fart jokes <laughs> or you'll die how soon before you cross paths with them no. <laughs> not long, my child. Not long. <laughs> um, uh, when they cross paths, uh, when when the storylines collide, it is it is um, Titanic. It's very. I was I was very happy with um, the the way they clash. And, and okay, I'm gonna stop talking. But it's, it's good. I, I think it's great. I really enjoyed playing it. We had a great. Oh, it was good. Do you know the full arc of where the story's going to go? Or is it your... Yes. Well, you do. I mean, I, I, for me, I think... I don't know, everyone's kind of gathering it as I go. But I was given an idea, and then it's starting to form, and I'm getting more and more information. So, um, now I... Yeah. And you've had two big projects with it. You had Star Trek, which was a TV show, became film. Hmm. Uh, and now The Exorcist, which was a big film, has become a TV show, which has been the most challenging. Oh, I don't know. Um, seems to me everyone's fascinated by the idea of these properties re-emerging um, and then they can be extra critical with it. Um, so there's pitfalls and rewards um, either way. What's interesting about doing The Exorcist as a television show is that I think it, you know, these days... Uh, it's hard to make, I don't know if you could do The Shining again with all that setup, you know, and in a way TV, a 10 episode run, you can have a lot of setup. And I, I, if, if you were to make The Shining again, I'm not sure if, you know, there might be an action sequence at the top, you know, and, um, so I, that's what I really like about the Tomas and Marcus storyline is allowing the family to really, is allowing Jeremy and Sean to really paint the family um, well so that it sets up for when an, un, <laughs> uh, an undisclosed event is going to happen. So, um, yeah. So are you looking at this, this is just one season for you or will Marcus and Tomas like pick up good people along the way, <laughs> like be a, you know, a team that... You're trying to trick me again. <laughs> <laughs>
I was very my nef- soul into this because <laughs> I would very like nefarious to see journalist. Um, uh, as far as I know, it's the one season. Speaking of Star Trek, have you heard any rumblings at all about another film? I have uh, not heard. Um, I, well, I mean, I don't. Uh, listen, they'll call me when they're. And they'll ask me or they won't. Um, but I don't know. What's it like being here at Comic Con for you? Because you have so many different fan bases that it's got to be like. People I got to go on the floor. I haven't been out there. Um, but it's. Uh, I, I, my, my reaction to Comic Con is always it's so. Um, maybe it's because I wasn't born in this country. It's, it's amazing how people can become fans of something that uh, that was not handed down at all by their parents or their grandparents like so passionate and you'd think it was I mean if you were an alien you'd think this must be a thousand year old religion but it's not I mean they just they saw Deadpool and they're really into it <laughs> it's, it's kind of amazing Thing about America. Although in some cases it is handed down these days. Now. That's true, yeah. Yeah. That's thank true. You guys. All right, thank, thank you. you.